Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video here today on the channel. Today we are back at another juicy little local pond. Coming out with three rods. I got a little crankbait, a little jig, and of course a little wacky rig. Um, we're coming out to this super dirty little pond and we're going to hopefully get on some big bass. Let's get right into it. Alright guys, we're going to start out with this little squirrel crankbait, just a little shad color. Uh, I have it on a braid combo. I'll probably end up putting a little top water on this a little bit later. But I had this tied on, so I figured throw it. I actually went fishing yesterday. It was not a great day. I actually tried to do a mouse lure challenge, a topwater mouse lure challenge. I ended up not getting anything on that. But I ended up catching a little guy on a little crankbait. Actually, this little crankbait. Actually, let's roll that clip right now. Oh my god. Oh, first cast, he bit it. I don't think he still has it. No, he does. Let's go. First cast, a second cast on the crankbait. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Second cast with the little crankbait. I picked up the squirrel for a second there just to see if anything would take it. And this tiny little chubby guy took it. Second cast. There we go, guys. First fish of the day on that crankbait. Absolutely killed it. That was second cast. That's a decent little first fish for a little micro pond like this. That's my first fish on the squirrel crankbait all year. It's actually the first time I've thrown it as well. So. Let's get this good little guy back in the water. All right, guys, it's just a little one, but little guy on the crankbait, I'll take it. Let's get him back. There we go. Yeah, so you, as you guys saw, it was just a little fish on that crankbait. It was actually second cast, which I said like four or five times in that clip, but we're gonna be coming back out here. I don't throw crankbaits a lot, but I seem to have decent luck on square build crankbaits like this, just kind of slow rolling it rod tip kind of just a little bit higher there isn't as much grass in this pond as there is in some of the other ponds so i figured a crankbait with treble hooks like this might do some work in the early morning in a pond like this oh my god something bit it right at my feet as it was coming up. Whoa, that was cool. I couldn't tell what it was or how big it was. I just saw that kind of bubbled up right up as I was pulling my bait out of the water. I gotta assume that that was a bass. I'm actually just gonna pitch the whack here again to see if that fish will eat it. Actually, let's pitch in the jig. I've had some decent luck at this pond with the jig. I'm just gonna take like two or three casts just to see if that fish will take this bait after I miss the crankbait. When you're, whenever you're fishing with like a crankbait or topwater, in my opinion, I think it's important to have a follow-up bait because a lot of times fish will kind of miss your bait with a topwater or a crankbait like this. And then you just throw in something slower moving like that wacky rig, like this jig kind of follow up and a lot of times that fish will eat it. Let's see if this one does right here. Alright guys, I really thought this little crankbait would get absolutely destroyed, but I'm really not seeing any fish up shallow at all. No bluegill, no bass. I haven't seen any bluegill or bass at all. I saw one carp busting on top, but other than that, really no life in this pond. I've been throwing this crankbait. Oh, that's a fish. Oh my God. I, as I say that, I just get destroyed. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my God. As I'm saying that, I got destroyed. He knocked slack in my line. How did he not get hooked? Dang it. But other than that bite, which seemed like a pretty good bite, it's been nothing. I've been casting kind of parallel to the bank and then kind of just out into the middle. That was my first bite. First good bite.
Alright guys, we made it to the second pond of the day here. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna show from that first pond, but essentially I threw that crankbait for about 45 minutes, one bite. I was, it was actually a decent bite, but really nothing else. Threw that jig, just kind of walked around the pond, pitching it in those fallen trees. No bites. I did not see a single bass, a single bluegill on the bank. And saw a couple carp kind of popping up out of the water, but really no life whatsoever in that pond. So hopefully coming over to the second pond, we'll, we'll get some more bites. I tied on a little Ned rig on the spinning combo I broke off on that wacky rig, but I think I'm gonna throw this crankbait for just a little bit longer at this pond, maybe a moving bite right at the beginning. So we'll throw this for a little bit, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get anything on this and we'll end up switching up. Oh, there's a bass right there. First bass I've seen all day. Oh my God, he chased it all the way in. He chased it all the way in. What the heck? I bet that fish would eat the wackery. He chased the bait all the way in. It's the first bass I've seen all day. First fish that I've seen all day. And there are a few bluegills as well. There's the bass again. I'm gonna throw in the Ned Rig. Ned Rigs are just super slow moving, barely any action. For the summertime, it's just the perfect bait to throw. There's that, oh, two bass, two bass. There's, oh, one of them's like half a pound. I mean, uh, two pounds, not half a pound. One took it, one's taking it, he's got it. Got him, got him, let's go, finally. First fish, finally on that Ned Rig. It's not the two pounder, but probably around half pound. He's, he's a chubby guy, so maybe around three quarters. Finally, the first one of the day on the Ned Rig. That feels so good. Hopefully we can get kick it on some more fish here. All right, guys, this dude absolutely killed it. Let's get him back. Oh, jeez, he was mad. Let's wipe off the camera. That was a good first fish of the day. He absolutely destroyed um, that Ned Rig. He was a he was a decent little fish for the first fish of the day. I kind of just pitched it in. He ate it before I even really worked it at all. I saw two bass come in. That dude just went right over to it. It's not a big fish, but it's not a bad one for finally the first fish of the day. I'll take that for sure. I know there's some big bass in here. If you guys watched one of my previous videos, I actually got on my biggest bass of the year um, in this pond. Probably close to four and a half, five pounds on a topwater popper. All right guys, so my GoPro is really weird and I have only 8% on this battery. 8% left, I have two other batteries, but the other, one of them went down to 0% in like a minute and the other one I used up. It probably has about 5% now. I took it out and this one, eight percent so I'll probably only be able to fish while filming for maybe 20 minutes with combined both batteries so we're gonna have to see here this could be this could be a tough situation we're just finally getting to a pond where there's fish in them and my GoPro batteries are gonna die all right guys, I'm actually voicing over this clip right here um, because my GoPro actually died, like I said in that last clip. Um, it's been acting up for some reason. Sometimes the batteries don't show how much they're charged. It sh just shows a little kind of charger icon, um, but it's at 100%. And I don't know, it's, it's really annoying. Sometimes my GoPro audio doesn't work. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a different style of video. I, it was just fishing, but I did only catch the one fish plus the one that I caught the other day that I put in the video, and it's just been super tough to catch these fish as of recently. So a two fish in a video, um, that's really all I've been able to do um, um, for this video. So I'm going to try to go out fishing a couple more times, and I know in the next week I'll be able to go to a spot that I don't usually get to go to, um, and it's always really good. So I'm excited to do that. That should be a really good video, but until then... I'm going to try to keep grinding out these uh, summer fishing videos for you guys, um, but 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Hopefully, you can't get to 500 subscribers by the time um, the summer ends. So, about a month to get 30 subscribers. I know we can do it. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.